flat tires. So first we need to start from an emotional place. I was ready to mow one day. <laughs> mow one day when guess what happened? I realized that we had a flat tire on the mower and I was not able to mow that day. We thought maybe we can air it up and it was just gone. It was a goner and I didn't have anything to repair it or replace it or anything. Well, we ordered a tire off of Amazon. The tire itself cost $21.20 or something like that. It's like a Kenda K358 Turf Rider Lawn and Garden Bias tire. It was 16 by 6.50-8. What does that mean? No, it's 16. So that I know the diameter plus the 6.5. Well, how do you even read that? 16. Either way. So we bought the tire replacement and we thought we could just replace it easily. You know, take the other one off, put the new one on. Well, it's it wasn't that simple. You actually have to stretch it or something using tools, but we didn't have any tools like that. So we just decided let's take it to a tire shop. It was like $6 to put it on and then like $2 for a new valve stem or something like that. Put it back on the mower and it worked fine. It was kind of a hassle because we had to drive into town and we had to wait for it. So in the future, I thought to myself, if this happens again, I would love a different solution because I like to mow that time. <laughs> Like if I go out and I'm like, I'm ready to mow, I want to be able to just mow. Two on the gorilla cart, one completely punctured on the mower, being held together by a rock and glue, and then the second one on the mower that was threatening to go out. So I had four tires that needed attention. So that would have been a lot of, a lot to replace those tires. What is a way that we can repair those so they can hold the air? I found this stuff, this slime stuff. Okay, on the package of the slime, they say that um, it lasts for up to two years. So I was like, hey, that's fine, that works. Because I had four tires, I went ahead and got the gallon size. It was $20. And if you think about the price of my Amazon purchase for one tire on the mower, I figured, that could cover the mower and the gorilla cart. So let's try it. Tubeless tires. I got the one for tubeless tires. If you don't know the difference between a tubeless and a non-tubeless, I can't help you because I looked and one has a tube and one doesn't. But how do you tell just by looking at it? But I'm not an expert on that. First thing is we position the valve in the upper half of the tire, which we already did. Remove valve core with included tool. I've never heard of a valve core. I didn't know this was a thing. Right here. Wow, look at that. Says allow tire to fully deflate. Ooh! Allow tire to fully deflate. Well, that's no problem. Shake well before pumping. That's well enough. Pump in slime. Just do like four. This popped up. It's good to be on oh my Gosh, I got slime on me. This is like Nickelodeon slime. Oh, I hope this works. Okay, there we go. Ooh, look at it. One. Yeah, that works. Four. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Will you reinstall the valve core? Look at this little thing, Luca. This goes in the tire. It's like a little nail, like a <laughs> oh my gosh 
Why did that happen? Was it not, was gunked up? Let's try that again. Yeah, that, that's fine now. Looks good. Okay, so yeah. Let's test it out. Let's start back. What? I love this thing. So nice. Let's feel it. Feels good to me. Yeah? Okay. Woo! The wheels work. Efficiency has been restored. <laughs> this is the one that was really soft and then this one i tried to kind of glue it because i needed to finish mowing you want to take it off no. they said you can remove the object allow it to deflate and then remove the object okay just tells us to remove this and let it deflate And remove object. You did already. It shows a lawnmower. So eight like pumps. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Is that a murder hornet? It's a dragonfly. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> fun, fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at him, Jeff. He's cleaning it. <laughs> the PSI on this one. People don't usually inflate these as much because it's kind of a bumpy ride anyway. So I don't usually go to the full PSI. 30, yeah. We had put eight pumps in and then I still heard some hissing. Then we put six more in just to be sure. And now it's getting back to normal. So it's doing it again. You can feel the air. Okay, so you're hearing the car noise because we had to start the car up. But do you hear anything coming from there? No. Yeah, I don't feel it. Okay. So what we did was we turned the wheel so that part was on the bottom, even though they say to put the valve stem at the top, and we put it in so it would kind of go down there, and it did. Like, it, look, <laughs> it looks terrible, but... I'd say we'll uh, check it again later. And it worked out really well. It was messy and weird, and I'm not really sure how it works. You know, put the valve stem at the top. Well, with ours, the, our puncture was on actually on the top. So what I did was I had to turn the tire the opposite way they recommended and uh, do the slime again, because only then did the puncture actually stop hissing and leaking air? It was a good sized little hole. We took the rock out. It did its job. It was a we did quite a few pumps though. I just really wanted to make sure that it wasn't gonna leak. And it didn't. We have tires that are nicely inflated. They haven't lost any air. You basically you put the slime in and then right away you can put the air in. And then you start using it. And it's just, it's done. So it's the fastest solution I've seen. My first experience, I realized the lawnmower wheel was flat. I had to purchase a replacement. We couldn't put the replacement tire on ourselves. We had to go get it done and pay for it to get done and then bring it back and then in reinstall the wheel and then we could mow. And that <laughs> was a long time. Like considering I love to mow and I just want to get it done. The rain is held off and you, you, the grass has had enough time to dry. You have that golden hour to mow and if your tire is flat, it's like, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Our tires work really well and everything's great. We had a ton left over. We have so much. It is here. We have a lot. You can use this on your tire even if it's not flat or even if it's not giving you problems. Basically put it in the tire before there's any problems and then it kind of prevents any leaking or any issues you might have in the future. If it gets a little um, old or dry, then rinse it out. So I think it lasts for a while. Thanks for hanging out with me.
for 20 minutes talking about tires and slime. They get me right here because I love them. I love mowing. I love it. I like talking about it, even if it's by myself in a squeaky barn. So, happy mowing. Oh, I did get some of the slime on my foot. This shoe. And I washed it, and it's gone. I put this whole thing in the washer, and I washed it, and now it's gone. So, just know that if you ever, you get slime on your foot, it's okay. You get slime on your foot, it's fine. <laughs> It can come out in the washer. I mean, not your foot. <laughs> if you put your foot, don't put your foot in the washer. Put your shoe. If you put your shoe, if you get on.